And for the mainstream U.S. media, the Ukrainian crisis is a pretty clear picture. In their eyes, all the complexities involved boil down to one person, the Russian president. RT's Guy Nature Chichikan reporting now on the apparent obsession with Vladimir Putin. President Obama said he does not believe this growing tension with Russia could be the beginning of a new Cold War. No. No, uh, it's not a new Cold War. One could only wish journalists thought the same, or at least those who are making covers for magazines, because some of them hark back to Cold War as if they were made back in the day. No matter how complicated an issue, you can be almost certain that the media are going to boil it down to personalities. Well, with Ukraine, it's one personality, the Russian president. What does he do when he isn't working or off on an outdoor adventure? And why don't we see him smiling very much? He's mm -hmm. not really driven by, by women or, by, or distracted by alcohol. He's very tough. He's a very um, arrogant um, person to deal with. Um, and what kind of diplomacy can you expect moving forward when diplomats use this kind of language? This is the UK ambassador to the United States speaking. Give me three adjectives you'd use to describe Vladimir Putin. Well, I'm not a poet, but uh, <laughs> I think uh, thuggish, dishonest, I'm afraid, comes to mind because we've had all these lies. Um, I think I'd say reckless too. It makes one wonder if they really want to solve a problem or if they're good with the current state of affairs. The media focus on the Russian president has had its effect on Twitter, where users came up with the hashtag blame Putin. And now many use it to comment on pretty much anything. It didn't rain in my country today, I blame Putin for it. Or a mosquito just bit me, blame Putin reports about mysterious craters in Siberia, blame Putin, and then to the report that former Georgian President Saakashvili doesn't want to go back to his country to stand trial and says he blames Putin, this user goes, if you are in trouble, just blame Putin. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekhan, RT.